Good morning. Oh, your phone. My phone is in my pocket. <laughs> my phone is right here. Good Why morning. my phone? Because my phone is set to automatic notifications when we go live. And you can do that too. That way, when it comes live, you can just click on the button and and go. Unless you're like me and click on the wrong button. This is clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it is Tuesday, mm -hmm. October 6, 2020. We right. are 16 days away from our grandbaby's due date. Our fifth. Fifth. Fifth grandbaby. Fourth boy. All right. <laughs> the LED lighting is flicking. That's not the camera. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day that you have given us, Lord. I pray for everybody that is listening. God, we give you praise and we give you honor for you are great and mighty and worthy to be praised, Lord. For you've created heavens and the earth. Lord, and it declares your glory. So I ask in the name of Jesus that today, Lord, that you would just help the people that are listening, God. Help them in their lives. Help them, Lord, in everywhere that they are at, whether they are driving, whether they are working, whether they are just at home. Lord, I pray that you would help them to give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, bless them today, that they may be in your presence here. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Good morning. Dawn is online. Good, Good day. Afternoon. Good day. Good day. Good day covers it all. Good day. It covers it all. Scylla's watching. Praise the Lord. One of them, both of them, some of them. <laughs> Good morning. We're going to be in Psalms 33 today. Psalm 33. And Randy's got it. And I'm going to be reading out of the New King James. Oh, boy. But the words were almost the same because I kind of looked at both. So, but, so Psalms 33 starts like this. I figured this is a, a good way to start off not only the day, but also the week. You know, yeah. knowing who our God is, how great he is. And his love for us. Amen. Um, and that in itself causes praise. So here we go. Psalms 33. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with the instruments of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. You know, Sing to him a new song doesn't mean that you have to come up with a new song. But it could be a, an incident, something that happens, an experience that's happening. And you're going to sing a song to him again. A new song. Not because of something he did before, but you're singing to him again because of something he just did. So, I think in all of our lives... You know what? If we made it past yesterday, we have a reason to sing a song. <laughs> yeah. Um, you woke up this morning. You know, yes, it's going to be even better the day that we wake up in the presence of the Lord. But for now, we're here. We have, you know, a reason to be here. We have a reason to praise him. For some reason, he still has us here, which means there's still work to be done. Amen. So we continue it. And as we continue to work, like we talked yes about the runner running the race, we have to keep that goal in mind. You know, what we do here, how long we're here, whatever suffering we go through here, is just so tiny compared to eternity that we have ahead. Yeah. Our prize is on the other side of the finish yeah. line. So we stand strong and we know that the Lord gives us endurance that we need. He brings us the help that we need. If we need someone alongside to just hold our hand up, he's going to do that. He will make a way where there seems to be no Amen. way. We go on and it says, For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. Amen. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Think of all the earth. 
the birds, the animals, the flowers, the gardens. All of this is the goodness of the Lord. Mm. You know, the beautiful sunrises. You know, no matter where people are in the world, they could be depressed as can be. But when a beautiful sunrise or a beautiful sunset happens, it just kind of gives you a little breath of fresh air because of the beauty and the majesty that's in that. Um, you know, and even in storms, thunderstorms, I mean, I, I love to watch the lightning. It's just the power and everything that's there. And then you think of, wow, that's nothing compared to the power of the Lord. You know, everything that we see that we think is so great and grandiose. It's nothing compared to how great our God is and how great his love for us is. It goes on and says, By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Genesis 1, 1. You want to read that? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth <laughs> it was without form and void. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. I don't know how you, the New King King James Version, but well, in the it, beginning, it, God created the heavens and the earth. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. That's verse and 2. God said, let there be light, and there was light. light. Amen. But I like that one because that's where the beginning of mm -hmm. God said starts. The God said parts start in verse 3 of Genesis. And then it goes on. God said, God said, God said, and all the things that he spoke into creation. I mean, it's just awesome to think how, how wonderful. The, yeah. the, the magnitude of our God, we can't yeah. even begin to, to touch it. on it. He made it. John 1, 1, 3 says, and... Oh, you said 1, 1 or 1, uh -huh, 3? 1, 1. Okay, well, there three, she three. is. She's throwing it off on me. <laughs> um, I'm driving somebody else's Bible, too. <laughs> so, John 1. 1 through 3. 1 through 3. Uh -huh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Amen. God made heaven and earth, and it can be seen in creation. Yes. Why do I like going out in, 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 in the woods and going on Jeep trails? Because I see God's creation. I get to interact Amen. with God's creation. Man-made streets and houses and pavement and parking lots and strip malls. God made the woods and the country and the mountains and the hills and the sunsets and the birds and the animals. And these are the things that I enjoy more than all Amen. the man-made stuff. Amen. One is very real. One is not. Amen. One will last longer because if all people just disappeared, the houses would eventually decay. Yeah. Stuff just goes apart. That's what happens. But I get to go out now and I get to see God's creation. And by acknowledging that it is God and thanking him for what he has made for us, Amen. that is praise. And God inhabits the praises of his people. Amen. So we praise and we worship yes. God. Because today we're talking about praise. Yep. In 7 it continues and says, He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. They let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. I know that that light blinking is... <laughs> yeah, it's here. blinking off. So. <laughs> let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. In Romans, I believe it's where it says that even the heavens declare his glory. People are without excuse because of the fact that just in creation itself, in heaven itself... You see the mighty hand of God. You see the creation. There's no way that this was an accident. It's too perfect. Everything has a perfect order. That's the way God created it. So, you know, again, in Romans, the man is without excuse. The day will come. Judgment day will come. And they'll stand before God. And they'll know. They'll know. It goes on and it says... 
Okay, let all the earth fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke it, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The earth is in the perfect angle to rotate and not fall out of its rotation that it's supposed to have. Everything is perfect. The sun, the moon, everything has its order, and it stands fast in that order that God put in effect. Amen. It says, the Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the people of no effect. You think of the great kings from times past, the Romans, all their glory, all the pharaohs. Where are they now? God still rules. Mm -hmm. The heavens still do what he wants it to do. The ocean still stays within its limits. Amen. Everything has an order. It says, the counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generation. Blessed is the nations who's, the nation whose God is the Lord. Can you finish up with verse 21? I don't, I don't know how far you're going through the chapter. but It only goes to 22 verses. Uh, we're 10 minutes. It says, so, <laughs> <laughs> blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own inheritance. I was going to read uh, Genesis 12, 1 through 3, where it talks, Abraham, God tells him. Um, but if you, I think we've got time to read that real quick. Are you there? No. No, I thought that I was saying to finish out with that. I see 12. I don't know what you're talking about, 12. This is Genesis 12, 1 through 3, is where the Lord tells Abraham what he's doing says, Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show thee, show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Mm. Well, Jesus... Came, came down, down through that, that lineage. <laughs> Blessing and, to all, and all nations. The, all, all the world has been blessed through the, the lineage of Abraham. Yes. And Israel is always coming up with things that blesses nations. Yeah. They don't get the credit for it. If you stand with Israel, you're up. blessed. If you stand against Israel, you're cursed. So and don't again, stand was... against Israel or, or Israel's people, the Jewish people. Don't stand against them. That does apply to us as well. Because uh, Jesus said it's better than a millstone be tied around your neck than you offend one of my little ones. Yep. Uh, it's better that you uh, basically were never born. So you just need to treat treat Israel, Jewish people, Christians. We need to treat them with a little uh, a, a little more respect. I know that's that's it's that doesn't kids. sound right, but uh, it, it's what God said. Yep. And there's blessings in Amen. it. Amen. There's, there's blessings. blessings in if it. If you bless Israel, God will bless you. Simply put, that's what it okay. says. And not everyone that's in Israel it follows the Lord. But yeah. it's okay. It's we, we bless. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen. There's a lot of Christian ministries there. The day will come when their eyes will be opened. Mm -hmm. Verse 13 says, the Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his dwelling, he looks on all inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts individually. I like that, individually. He sees each one of us Amen. individually. He considers all their works. No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall I deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted Amen. in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us just as we hope in you amen we hope in the lord his mercy is with us his love is with us we pray for the united states of america 
as people's hearts return to the Lord. Um, it is happening. And the more people are turning to the Lord, the more the light of Christ is shining, the more the darkness is showing. Amen. Just like Pharaoh <clears throat> kept, when the moment the Lord showed up and said he was going to deliver the children of Israel, what happened? Pharaoh began to want to put more, more weights on them, make it harder for them. But you know what? They won. Mm -hmm. God delivered them. And we win too. We win too. So keep We're a trusting praise in song in your heart. And rejoice in the Lord, Lord always. And again, and again I, I say rejoice. rejoice. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Have a blessed, wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow morning.